Hey guys, I'm Aaron Edgar, and welcome back to part three of the Time Signature series. This time, we're going to be talking about 16th based wieners. So, the thing with these is that the subdivisions are they're getting smaller, which means especially at faster tempos, these are a lot harder to play effectively. When we were talking about the quarter note and eighth note based meters, really once you wrap your head around the concept, they're not that difficult after a little bit of practice and getting used to how they feel. The 16th note meters are going to take a lot more practice to do. Now, to get through these, you pretty much need to be counting 16th notes the entirety of your meter, just so you can really have that pulse in your head. Uh, in case you're unfamiliar with how to count 16th notes, we have E and F as going in between each of our quarter notes. So, with our quarter note being 1, 2, 3, four, we have to count 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. So, let's talk about my personal favorite 16th meter, which is 1716. This really is a bar 4 4 plus a 16th note. A couple different ways you can count it. Now, the best way for you guys, as just learning this stuff and coming into it, you're going to have to go 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a, 5 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a, the 1. Doesn't matter what you say for that last note, like the 17th, 16th note. As long as it's a syllable and it's equal in duration to the previous ones. So now that you have an idea on how to count it, let's actually apply it to something. Get your practice pad out, and I want you counting out loud. None of this counting in your head crap. Like, actually out loud. I want you to be able to hear yourself say all this. So, we're just going to play 16th notes. Hand to hand for the full bar of 1716 with a bass drum, or I guess stomping your foot on the floor, for beat one of every bar. It sounds like this. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E. Get really used to that. Get that feeling really comfortable. You don't have to worry about getting it super fast or anything like that. Just get it so you can feel it properly. Now let's take the same kind of idea and apply it within a groove. This is kind of the next step once you're used to that. I'm going to play just a regular beat, but from beat four, so four E and da da, the five notes. I'm going to play them on the snare drum just to really accentuate the fact that we're playing 1716. Now this isn't really a cool way to apply 1716 but it's a great way to start learning it. Cool, now that you understand what it sounds like in a groove application, Let's take the same idea, we're going to spice it up a little bit and speed it up. Let's check it out. So, once you can get these to a place where you're really comfortable with them and, you know, you've jacked the tempo up a little bit to where it's pretty exciting, they can sound really cool. All right, so now let's talk about a different 16th note meter. We're going to talk about 1516, which is essentially a bar of 4-4 minus a 16th note. So, same starting point. Let's put it on the practice pad. We'll count it loud. Bass drum on beat 1. 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and 1. Now, I counted it differently each bar. doesn't matter which one you pick. They both work just fine. One other thing you may have noticed about my counting is that I'm counting really staccato. I'm trying to make all the notes that I say very one E end, very pointed, so that they can be really articulate. We need to think that way once we get quicker into the 16th note meters. I'm definitely not slurring it like one E and a, none of that garbage. We want them really pointed, almost robotic sounding. So, let's hear it on the kit. Cool, so now that you can hear what it sounds like in a groove context, let's uh, make it a bunch cooler. Now that you 
get the idea of where we're going with this, let's take a look at 1316. Now, for this one, I'm going to phrase it like we're doing 6 8 plus a 16th note. We're not going to take it to the practice pad. You guys can do that on your own. You understand how that works now. Let's check it out. I was able to help you guys understand how to feel and count 16th note meters a little bit. Make sure you stay tuned for the final segment in the Time Signature series on composite meters.